Hello, welcome back to Simply Women's Health with CJ. So, you went to your first OB visit and your provider is recommending that you take a low dose or a baby aspirin every single day. A lot of my patients are hesitant to take medications in pregnancy because they're just not sure if it's safe for the baby. That being said, low dose or baby aspirin is not only safe, but it can actually provide protection for you and your baby. During pregnancy, there is a condition that affects one in 25 women. It is called preeclampsia. Preeclampsia is actually responsible for a number of pregnancy complications for both mom and baby. Women who have preeclampsia have very, very high blood pressure. That high blood pressure can lead to premature delivery, put stress on the placenta, and the baby might not grow properly. For mom, it can lead to severe headaches, kidney and liver damage, in rare cases, it can cause seizures, and in very rare cases, preeclampsia can even be fatal. Unfortunately, we do not know what causes preeclampsia, but we do know that there are certain people who are going to be at increased risk to develop it. Studies have shown that if those people at increased risk take a low-dose baby aspirin every single day, they can significantly decrease their risk for developing preeclampsia. So people who are in a high-risk category, you've had preeclampsia with a previous pregnancy, you have chronic hypertension, you have type 1 or type 2 diabetes, you are carrying more than one baby, you have kidney disease, you have an autoimmune disorder such as lupus, you would definitely benefit from baby aspirin. If you have two or more of what are called moderate risk factors, these include this is your first baby, your BMI is greater than 30, you are of African American descent, your mother, your sister had preeclampsia during their pregnancies. It's been more than 10 years since you've had a baby. You've had a baby in the past that was smaller than it should have been or growth restricted. Again, if you have two or more of those factors, it's recommended that you too take a baby aspirin. The recommendation is that you initiate treatment sometime ideally between 12 and 16 weeks of pregnancy all the way up to 28 weeks. You want to take one baby aspirin every single day unless you've been instructed to take two by your provider. It is actually 81 milligrams of aspirin. It is referred to as baby aspirin. You would never give this to a baby. Who shouldn't take baby aspirin? If you have an allergy to aspirin, if you don't have any risk factors, we recommend you not take baby aspirin. If you have a stomach ulcer, if you are taking an herbal supplement such as turmeric, please consult your provider before you initiate treatment. You're still here. Thanks so much for sticking around through the entire video. If you feel as though this information has been helpful to you, or you think you know somebody that might benefit from that information provided in these videos, please feel free to like it, share it, and if you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you did that. Any and all support that you can provide is so greatly appreciated. As always, these videos were not created as a replacement visit with your healthcare provider, rather as a place for you to come for basic, reliable information that is non-biased and hopefully allow you to figure out what questions to ask your healthcare provider at your next visit to best meet your healthcare needs. Again, I appreciate all of your support. If you want to contact me, my information is at the top of this screen, and I will put it in the comment section of this video. That's all I have for today. This is CJ. I'm at your service.